Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be working on the Trash Panda. For those of you that don't know, this is a 94 Geo Tracker with the uh, 8 valve in it. Mostly, mostly it's used uh, as the off-road truck. So today we're going to go in and replace that axle. You can see the boots all tore up really good. It's gotten to a point now where it uh, clicks as we cruise along in two-wheel drive even. So that's what we're going to do today. First thing we got to do though is get it off. First thing we're going to do is jack the uh, rig up, put a jack stand underneath the frame, and then we'll take that tire off. I know there are people who are saying you can do this without removing the tire, but just because I've never tried anything like that before, we're going to go ahead and just take the time to take it off. Alright, we got that tire taken off, we got everything jacked up, supported. You can get a better look here at what's going on. You can see that boot is trash, that axle is clicking, making all kinds of noises. Not in good shape. So, removal procedure, pretty simple. I'm going to take this piece here, unclip that, loosen these bolts, take this off completely. Then we're going to go ahead and pop these out. We're going to lower the jack and that should give us enough clearance for what we need to be able to slide that thing out of there. Going to try to leave the wheel spacer on and we'll see how that turns out. But we have to remove all these allens, pull the head off, uh, the hub off, and then there'll be a C-clip type unit in there. Uh, you have to get special pliers for in order to undo that we do have and should be able to slide right out and be able to put that used one back in and that's the one that came out of the green four-door tracker 
that you've seen on previous videos that we ran in the Tough Trucks last year. Um, actually, it wasn't a tracker. It was a Suzuki Sidekick. But we ended up demolishing that thing pretty good. And so we turned around and scrapped it out. So would have kept it had I known I was going to start collecting these things and have them all over the place. But oh well, let's go ahead and get this one fixed. See how easy that was? No problem. Um, just remember, you gotta keep that jack underneath there because the tension from this spring is gonna wanna push everything down as soon as you unhook your strut. Make sure you're uh, safely sitting on the jack stands. So here's the bad one. And it looks like it's bad in both ends. Let's take it over here. Make sure they're the same. Didn't even think of that. I think it's just stretched out. Pretty sure I can get those two to work. So, basically the reverse of what we just did in order to get that thing jammed back in there.
couple of quick things I want to address before we end this video. Uh, tried playing around with lighting, always trying to improve. So uh, some of these sections, the light actually went out on me. But we're trying. We're trying. Um, second part, in the reinstallation, you'll notice I put on a pair of gloves. That was because you have to put axle grease and bearing grease on both ends of the axle. I didn't want to get it all over myself. Um, and so after I did that, I just went ahead and left the gloves on. Third thing that you guys may have noticed is that uh, when I went ahead and cranked these nice and tight back again, I'm not terribly worried about alignment. Um, obviously it's mostly off-road, so not terribly concerned, doesn't get a lot of mileage. Um, secondly, when you put in the spacer lift, uh, you can either buy camber bolts to adjust the camber here or you can actually hog out Which is what I did is hog out that section to make that hole oblonged and push everything back That's why I moved the jack to underneath the farthest section here the spindle to try to get it to push up in there a little farther um, Also, you'll notice nice shiny king nut uh, about a month ago, I had the king nut come off of the convertible, which I use as my commuter, and this whole section dropped out. Uh, so I went ahead and bought a replacement that was a little taller, um, so the pin doesn't quite fit in all the way, so I wire tie it down. That's why it's on this rig. I put the proper OEM piece back onto the commuter. Those are the things that I wanted to go over with you guys real quick. Uh, questions that... I obviously noticed and maybe some of you did too as to while I was shooting this video so that's uh, axle shaft replacement on a 94 geo tracker gonna put the tire back on and we should be good to go